why some bears won't buckle, even as sentiment continues to improve. The economy remains resilient, inflation keeps falling, and cash pours into stocks. Let's welcome in Canner's Eric Johnston. He is head of equity derivatives and cross asset here at Post 9. Welcome back. Thank you, Scott. I have to say, um, I'm really glad you're here because I know you know what kinds of questions I'm going to ask you because it's been a tough year for the Bears. What looked like was going to be a pretty good year has ended up being painful, right? From the first time you were on with me back in January, high conviction bearish, all the way through the years except for a brief moment of in tactical time, I would say, and you remain, as you said, on December the 5th, bearish equities. How do you explain yourself, Mr. Johnston? Sure. So um, it's been a year of multiple re-rating. So if you look at earnings since the beginning of the year, earnings were actually unchanged versus last year. So the growth for the earnings were about zero year over year. Uh, the 10-year yield was higher on the year. Commodities were lower. But, but stocks re-rated. They're now trading at a 21 and a half times multiple on earnings. Our view is that we thought if everyone went great, they would trade at about a 19 multiple. As crazy as that sounds, right, 19. Uh, 19 multiple, which would have been about 42, 4,300 in the S&P. We were at 4,100 seven weeks ago, as you know. Um, we're now at much higher, and we're at 21 and a half times, times earnings. So we didn't expect the multiple re-rating to 21 and a half times. Uh, we do not think this is sustainable. But we also think that you do have to be tactical from here, because what we heard from the FOMC was a positive. It was a positive for the pivot. Equ- the pivot. So you have a Fed that is saying we are not going to hit our inflation target until 2026, yet we're going to cut rates three times in 2024. That's very equities friendly, very equities friendly. Okay, and with that, financial conditions have loosened and net worth for consumers has risen. So those things are a helpful backdrop for for equities. And so from a you have to be, I think, tactical from here in the short term. Mm-hmm. Until that is proven different, which we think it will be, and we think at that point you could see a sustained down move. What do you think that you and and other, you know, whether it's strategists, market observers who have looked at this market throughout the year got most wrong? Is it the fact that the economy remained a lot more resilient than you expected, that the amount of Fed tightening that we had, which was historic, and in the reasonably short period of time in which we had it, did not have nearly the dramatic impact as you expected it would. So I think it was the economy. So if you think about what what has happened, the Fed went from zero to 5%, right? And we were at this full employment situation. Um, And yet here we are today, you know, second quarter GDP, or sorry, third quarter GDP was 4%. Right, this quarter is looking like it's going to be two percent, and the labor market, although it's slowing, well, Atlanta GDP just raised theirs to like two point seven. Two point seven percent. All right, so that's not two yep. percent. That's yep. closer point, to three two, than two. Yep, that's fair. To be so, fair. Yep, two point seven percent. And so right now, the economy and for this full year has been far more resilient. Now it has not translated into earnings. Right, ultimately, stock prices are are based on a multiple on earnings, and earnings were the growth rate was zero year over year. And our view on that was correct. Our view on the economy so far, it has been far more resilient than we expected. We think risks for the economy remain very high, remain very high. Um, Why? Why? Given the pivot that you cited at the beginning. Sure. So let me, the unemployment rate is 3.7%. There have not been any bull markets that have started from a 3.7% unemployment rate. They've typically ended with a 3.7% unemployment rate, right? The unemployment rate coming out of COVID, 14%. Out of the financial crisis, 10%. Out of the 2003, 7%. 1992 is 7%. 1982 is 10%, right? Bull markets start with high unemployment rates. And then the reason why you have the bull market is because labor is added throughout that time. And you have this great run of the unemployment rate coming down year after year after year. Yeah, but you're citing, don't, you're citing periods of time where we had crises 